This is question number 18, 2020, uh, mathematics paper one. And we are told uh, a solid consists of a conical part, a cylindrical part, and a hemispherical part. All the parts have the same diameter of 12 centimeter. The height of the cylindrical part is 15 centimeter, and the slanting side height of the conical part is 10 centimeter. Take pi to be 3.142. Uh, so calculate the A, height of the solid, you get two marks. B, the surface area of the solid, correct to one decimal place, you get four marks. Uh, the volume of uh, the solid, correct to two decimal places. Uh, now, to handle this question, maybe we can start by drawing uh, a sketch. And uh, this, we can draw it. This is a cylindrical part here. Uh, so that is a cylindrical part. Uh, this is a hemispherical part. And this is a conical part. Uh, it is important so that you'll be able to see what you are doing. And from the information given, uh, we are told this is 12. So, have the same diameter. The height of the cylindrical part is 15. This is 15 centimeter. And the height, uh, the slanting height uh, of the conical part is, uh, this is a cone, is 10. Uh, so with that information, okay, I've not put the dimension, uh, it's okay because we know all are in, in centimeter. We are required to find the height of the uh, the height of the solid. Now we can get the height. Uh, so from, since the diameter here is the same, we can say this part here, it is six. Uh, and uh, we also say this is a uh, 12. If we drop a, a perpendicular line there at the center, then this will be six and this will be six. Since the diameter, the diameter is 12. Uh, so we need this height. Uh, this height to so you that you will be able to add it here. So to get this height, uh, this will be a right angle. You, you use the Pythagoras theorem, and therefore we say height is equals to the slanting side or the hypotenuse side, which is 10, the square root of 10 squared minus the, the other side is 6 squared. So this will be uh, the square root of the square, the 10 squared is 100 plus, and uh, not plus actually, but uh, minus, uh, minus six squared is 36. Uh, so 100 minus 36, that will give you 64, the square root of 64, and this will give you eight. The square root of 64 is eight. So it means the height here, it is eight, and therefore we can be able to get the height of the, the height of the solid is six plus 15, then plus uh, eight, and this will be, uh, this is 21, 29 centimeter. So that's how you get that part. And you get uh, two marks. So you'll be able to get one mark here, uh, one mark there for the, for getting the, 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 the height of the conical part, and one mark there for getting the height of the solid. Okay, we go to part B. Uh, surface area of the solid. So what we need to get here is the surface area of the, of the hemispherical part. Uh, we get the area, surface area of the cylindrical part and the surface area of the conical part. Uh, so, okay, let's start with the conical part and say uh, the surface area. When you are getting the surface area of a cone, the method we use is pi rn. So that will give us a surface area where R is the radius of the cone, R is the slanting side, and we have all that uh, we add. So the, the, the cylindrical part, uh, to get the surface area of a cylinder, we get the, 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 hmm, the perimeter, which you get, it is two pi R, and we multiply by the height, which is uh, 15. Uh, we, all have, we have that, all that, we have the radius and the height. Then we add uh, the, the, 
the surface area of uh, the semi hemisphere here, uh, the formula for finding the surface area of a sphere is four uh, pi uh, r squared. And because it is uh, a half the, or semi, uh, semi hem, uh, sphere, we divide by two. So we can be able now to get this information and uh, to get this, since we are told to use the 0.142, uh, we say this is 3.142, and then we multiply by the radius. The radius is 6, and we multiply by uh, the slanting side, which is 10. So that will give us the surface area of the conical part. Then we add, uh, here we have to, we multiply by 3.142, and uh, that is a pi. We multiply by 6, which is the radius, and we multiply by the, this is uh, the height. The height is 15, so we multiply by 15. That will give us the surface area of uh, the cylindrical part. Then we add, uh, we we'll add here, uh, this one we have uh, 4 divided by Two, two is two, you multiply by 3.142, that is a pi, and you multiply by six, multiply by six, that is R squared. Uh, so here you can use your calculator, you compute that, you will be able to get 188.52, uh, then we add, you compute this, uh, this part here, uh, we have done that, uh, you compute this, this one here, 2 times 3 pi, using your calculator, you'll be able to get 565.56. Uh, you add to this last part here, and this you'll be able to get to 226.224 using your calculator, which you'll be able to get uh, 980. Point three when you add up all this, and this is centimeter squared because it is area to one decimal place. That's that uh, you have a decimal point there. Uh, so we go to part C, uh, volume of the solid correct to one decimal place. Volume of the solid correct to one decimal place. So the volume, we need to find the volume of the cone, the, cone, the volume of the cylindrical part and the volume of the hemisphere. Uh, so what we do here is we say to get the volume of the cone, we say it is a that, uh, how do we get that, that pi? So that pi uh, R H, so it is a that multiplied by 3.142, uh, then you multiply by radius squared is six times six, uh, you multiply by eight, that is a volume of the cone. A volume of a cone, is, we say it is a half, a third base area times height. So that this is the area, a third base area times height, uh, which we had obtained here, it is eight. Uh, then we add the volume of the, uh, the, the cylindrical part. How do we get that? It is base area times height. The base area is a pi r square, so it is 3.142. Uh, let's correct that. Uh, 142, uh, that is a pi. Then you are going to base area is you get, you multiply by 6, multiply by 6, uh, multiply by height, which is 15. That is uh, base area times height uh, plus the area of the hemisphere. The area of the hemisphere is uh, four divided by three. Uh, you multiply by pi with 3.142. That is a pi, uh, since we are told to use that. Uh, you multiply, it is normally four over three pi r cubed. So it is six multiplied by six, multiplied by six, uh, multiplied by a half because it, this is a, the volume of the whole sphere, we divide by two. So you compute that. You can use your calculator to do that, to compute all this. 
uh, be careful when you are using your calculator so that you don't mess up with your figures. Uh, that is why you are taught how to use your calculator properly in form three. And when you compute that, you'll be able to get 2,450.76 centimeter cubed, uh, which you can uh, say it is roughly to, because we are told to one decimal place, it is 2,450 point. Since the, we have six here, this will be 0.8 uh, centimeter cubed. Uh, and this is to one uh, decimal place. So that's how you work out that question. And I hope you have followed. Once you do, you get, do this, you'll be able to get a total of 10 marks. Here you get four marks. Uh, you get four marks. We get one here. Uh, let me use, you can get one mark there for computing that, another one mark there for computing that, uh, another one there, and a mark for the answer. The same case applies here, you get one mark there, you get one mark there, you get one mark there, and you get your mark there. So I hope you have followed that. Uh, let's go to number 19. 